Hi and welcome to Larand Gaming and if you're new to this channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, as you might already know because of the thumbnail and the title of the video, today we're gonna take a look at the aquarium. Yes, this has been, well, I should have made a video of this one a long time ago, but uh, it never really happened. And uh, we were supposed to get some kind of update in the aquarium in the past with a new tier and all, uh, but uh, we are still waiting for something to happen. So regardless, we have a lot of new players every day coming into the game. I can see that because of this first catch badge that you can get. So I checked it yesterday and it was like 12,000 new players and that's quite a lot. I know for sure that there are questions regarding this aquarium and uh, you that has already played this game a lot, yeah sure, most likely not gonna be any surprises but who knows. <laughs> I might have a few tricks, you never know, do you? <laughs> so let's go and have a look. Okay, and when you are entering the aquarium, you will see this interface. Up in the top left corner, you always have your own aquarium. It also shows what tier the aquarium is. And down at the bottom, if you don't choose the one up in the left corner, you can always enter my own aquarium down here. And first of all, uh, the others that you can enter, if you have someone that is a friend on the server you can enter them directly just by pressing here uh, and uh, they are always listed at the top so you don't expect to find any friends down in the bottom uh, but that's something that is good to know and if you don't want people to visit your aquarium you can turn it off so you can see as you like this who can enter my aquarium you can choose everyone friends or nobody and if you are annoyed by invite spam to your uh, to someone else aquarium you can prevent it by setting it to nobody friends or everyone so if it's everyone you will receive invites from everyone as soon as someone invites you but everyone is always free to enter my aquarium i never turn this off so if you are on the same server as me you can always enter the aquarium and have a look. So let's go inside. And yes, here we have my aquarium. So I changed the content a little bit. It goes by this. So this is tier one. This is the area that is free. And to be able to advance further, you need to pay uh, to unlock tier two. And tier two is the only place where you can put your shark and orca eggs. So I have basically dedicated this second area to sharks and orcas only. Because you can't have them in other tanks. And the last three, which is tier three. Uh, I have only event fish. So I have Valentine event 2021 in this tank, which was located in Watches Bay. Difference from this year's fish is that this one had this red base color. As you can see with this uh, event that we had this year, where you had this uh, love fish. You see it's more like a bluish gray instead of the red. So those are different. And then we have Cyber City. Uh, I didn't really play that much during Cyber City since I was on a break. So I never really got any of those cool neon colors but I kept the fish anyway those that I got because they are limited they are special and yeah they are also very cool <laughs> uh, so I have only limited fishes back in tier 3 aquariums and in total there are six tanks and each tank fits 20 fish and yeah you will have these things happen as well they swim outside but it's all right <laughs> it's it's just normal, it's just how it's always been, okay? But uh, many questions have been regarding how to put fish in the tanks. And you have these buttons, you have invite to invite your friends and you have this edit button. And when I started this uh, aquarium adventure, uh, I used edit and I got into this edit mode, which is fine. Uh, but I had this problem to know how do I interact with this opposite side? So I, when I went to this opposite side and pressed edit, it went to this first tank again. And that caused a little bit of confusion until I noticed that regardless where you are in this aquarium, if you press edit, you enter this free cam mode. So you have basically this free cam mode that I use pretty frequently in intros and things like that. So you can 
you can basically fly around in here through the glass and everything so you have a little bit of freedom here and depending on what you are looking at what tank you are looking at you will see the inventory of that specific tank and that's basically how it works and in that interface you have a search function i have never used that search function because it's only 20 locations so it's not very likely that you need to search maybe it's more difficult to scroll on mobile that i don't know uh, so maybe then you might want to use it but otherwise i never use it i don't use this sort function or anything i just go with these uh, illustration and pictures that's good enough for me and at the bottom you will see your own backpack all these kinds of fishes that you can put into this tank and what you do is that you do a drag and drop to place something in the tank and once you have reached 20 you can't add anything more together with that you have decorations by default you will always see the fish but when you go to decorations then you can buy different kinds of decorations there's an item limit i think of 800 and yeah as you can see when you select something here it says 623 out of 800 so if you add something here like that you see it counts up so now it's 624 and uh, what i do when i decorate my aquariums i try to make things a little bit random and uh, by pressing r when you're on a pc you can rotate the part uh, which i think is very useful otherwise things might see well things might look a little bit repetitive because if you add something like this you will start to see that yeah they all look the same you see this repeating pattern and that is not something i prefer at least depending on of course what you want to do but if you place something and you ro rotate it once and do that step by step you will start to notice that it will look much more random that way so you don't have this repeating pattern that is something i prefer at least and the price of these items are very cheap i would say uh, this this is not uh, to decorate the aquarium it's not really a big expense the only thing that's just one item that costs gems and it's this tree stump it costs five gems kind of cool i wish there was more different items that you could add so yeah that's five gems <laughs> but uh, regardless uh, so if you want to let's cancel out if you want to you can select items if you go from this placement mode you can go to select mode and if, then you can select the different things that you have in your aquarium you can reposition them like so you can rotate them manually by clicking this rotation button but pressing r on the keyboard works just as well i think it's faster that way and if you want to remove it you can just simply press this remove button see we can remove a few of these because i don't want it to be like this <laughs> this was just for the video you can put things close to the wall so it clips into the wall and because when you can rotate pieces you can combine different pieces to form other complex shapes like uh, this for instance this is basically three different rock pieces they are rotated different ways and then i add a little bit of coral uh, on top of this uh, it works just fine then you can create these unique patterns i think it's really good uh, what i would like to see is that you can place things on the floor and you can you can also put these things on the roof but it could also be nice if you could place some of these pieces on the back wall over here that could be very useful and as you can see if we go back to these first aquariums you can see i can place things on the wall like this maybe yeah even actually the rocks but it differs so those walls in tier 3 aquariums you can't place things on the wall which is a little bit unfortunate i would think it should be beneficial if we could also place things on this wall just like you can do with this first tier one aquarium and just by checking where you can place things you will also notice that you can place things here on the wall this is kind of cool so <laughs> if so, if a developer sees this don't fix it because this is very nice then you can create this unique kind of pathway 
to the second area of uh, of the aquarium so i really like this feature i don't think it was intended uh, but i don't see it as a bug okay so it's not a bug don't fix it <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can also add bubbles that shoots straight out of the wall. That might look a little bit weird, but I've hidden it behind and inside this rock. Uh, so yeah, normally it should look like this. The bubbles goes up, but since the bubbles is a part of this model, and if you rotate the model, the bubbles will go sideways. Still creates a cool effect, I think. So I really like it. I think it's fun. Uh, what I noticed though is that when we got this remaster uh, and it was much easier to get chromas or this previous yellow mutation uh, many people stopped to actually work with their aquarium because it, it didn't really feel like a reward anymore because it was very simple to get <laughs> mutations so as for myself i replaced just a few fishes that's all it is not really like something is really special because it doesn't really feel that something is really really tough to get anymore so i hope they will add something in the future that you can really put here as a real reward and just brag about it because I think it's needed otherwise the aquarium is not really that frequently used and as for myself if I would start to play again the early levels I would not place anything in the aquarium because I need the money so I would most likely just sell everything regardless if I get a mutation or not just to get money and if I go like uh, level 100 plus or something then I would maybe start to look into the options. What do I want to have in my aquarium? Because uh, right now it's not really that special. Uh, at least I don't think so. It's a cool feature. I like it because we need to have something from all the fishing that we do to actually put it somewhere. So we can show someone at least what we have achieved. But just imagine if you could have like up here, maybe like movie pieces something like shark fins shark heads uh, maybe in this tunnel add some light you can maybe put up uh, the different kinds of spears that you have like a spear rack or something or fishing rods just to show what you have because when i watch a player playing the game i have no idea what that person really has and by visiting an aquarium that could be a nice thing to just show so i hope there will be some uh, improvements in that area in the future because i see great potential in the aquarium and something that will really result in more joy because of all the time and effort you put into the game you need to place it somewhere so everyone can see it that's at least what i think overall I like the aquarium, it's it's a fun thing, uh, I would love to spend more time in it, but uh, currently I don't. I hope there will be an aquarium update soon, or at least in the future. I know they're fixing a lot of different things right now, so that's just perfectly fine. You can't do everything at the same time, but uh, more things, more decorations. Maybe something you can get from treasure chests or something from shipwreck. Uh, something that is like, you can't buy it here. Uh, when when you decorate things could be items that you get somewhere that is unique that requires a little bit of extra work because this game requires a lot of work so why not add a little bit of work to get some decoration pieces into this aquarium i would love it at least so yeah i think that was all in total you have 20 fish from each tank in total you can add up to 120 fish if you don't uh, add the eggs if you use this middle section for eggs you can add a hundred fish in total to the aquarium i think it's great i would love to see us being able to put even more fishes into the aquarium maybe having it a little, a little bit bigger also in the future but that was all i had for you today if you do have any questions and comments about this please put them below like this video if you would like to see more content from fishing simulator Please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. <laughs> Bye everyone.